Hello everybody. Right now we're standing just forward of the leading edge of the right wing of a brand new Boeing 747-8. We're taking a look at the number three engine right here and I'm going to kind of walk towards it. It's a brand new paint job on it. Looks like you could eat a meal off of it. It's beautiful. Now as we go to the trailing edge of the engine, you can see that they uh, put a scalloping on the trailing edge of both the cowling right here, as well as the nacelle right there. And to put my hand up here, you can kind of get a reference for the size of each one of those scallops. Now, they put the scalloping on there in order to help silence the engine. They discovered that when they swirl the air, the bypass air that goes between the nacelle and the cowling right here, that's where the N1 fan section blows air bypassing the engine. And right here is the nacelle, air that gets combusted through the combustion chamber of the engine, exits the engine right there. They discovered that when they put the scalloping right there, it swirls the air and that causes it to um, be somewhat more quiet. Now what they weren't planning on when they added that scalloping was that on top of silencing the engine by several decibels, it also increases the engine pressure ratio. In other words, it makes the engine more powerful without uh, increasing the fuel flow. And they weren't planning on that when they designed it. Now as I move around the forward edge of the number three and we'll take a look at the inside. Right there is the uh, N1 fan. You can see that the blades have a very unusual shape to them. Kind of have that nice curvature shape to them. Now, while this jet engine doesn't have it, one of the things that they learned from the scalloping um, and what's going to be included on future jet engine designs is they're going to add new fan sections. So in other words, you're going to have an N1, an N2, an N3, N4, so on and so forth and they're going to scallop each section leading into the next section. And that's all forward of the compressor. So you're going to have all these new fan sections added in, each section scalloped to the next. Um, and then a good chunk of that air is going to uh, bypass the compressor and the combustion chamber. And a small portion of that air will go through the compressor and the combustion chamber as it currently is with a high bypass turbofan engine. So with all these new N1 and N2 and N3 and N4 sections, so on and so forth, added in, it's going to all be driven by a tiny little gas turbine in the center, which drives the whole thing. It's going to make the engine much more efficient. So the next 20 years of uh, jet engine technology is going to be very interesting. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.